Friends, welcome to Rocket City. Rocket City. Rocket City. So we're riding along and we hear something go bang and broken windshield on the way to see June. And then they got a little situation here. Let's see what this is. They're cutting somebody out of the car. Yep, they're cutting them out. Hope they're okay. Wow. That's something else. You always say a prayer when I pass Yes, sir. Out. Touch them and heal them in the name of Jesus. So friends, we're here in Mobile, Alabama, August 1956. This was a Howard Johnson's hotel with a 24-hour restaurant. Elvis and June stopped here on their way back from Jacksonville, Florida, where he played a concert. She was with him and they came back, they drove all night and they came to here and there was a marquee up here that said 28 flavors and they laughed about that and we'll talk about that story but this is unfortunately it's gone now but this is where it was that they stopped August 1956 on the way back to Biloxi Government Boulevard 90 was the highway that they traveled on from Jacksonville to Biloxi. We're gonna talk about what happened right here. All right guys, quick story that happened right here where the spy guy and I have stopped and filmed in Mobile, Alabama. Of course, it used to be the Howard Johnson here and on the night, well, the early morning hours of August the 11th, 1956, Elvis Presley, June Winnico, Pat, Red West, Buddy Conrad, Gene, they stopped. They were on their way back from Florida. They were heading toward Biloxi to drop June and Pat off. And then they were going to go to New Orleans because later that evening on August the 11th, they played at the Municipal Auditorium. So anyway, it was about 2.30 a.m. in this uh, early morning hours of August the 11th, and Elvis was hungry. Well, they see the Howard Johnson sign, and it says, Restaurant, open 24 hours. That flashed, of course. Well, they stopped here, and how um, Elvis and June got a big laugh because on the sign it said ice cream featuring 29 flavors. The reason they were laughing about that is because the previous day Elvis ordered 29 flavors of ice cream at lunch. He uh, wanted some ice cream. The waitress said, well, what kind? He said, well, what kind do you have? And she said, well, we have 29 flavors. And he said, well, just bring me all 29 flavors. And Elvis and June sat there... Uh, for lunch and tried to eat all 29 flavors of that ice cream. So Elvis and June looked at each other like, oh, we can't do this again, can we? But they uh, got a big kick out of that sign that was uh, on the Howard Johnson here at this location in Mobile. But uh, anyway, another story that happens inside there was Elvis ordered breakfast. He was in a mood for breakfast that morning. And um, if you don't know this about Elvis, you're about to learn something new about the guy. He didn't like his eggs sunny side up. Now, I like mine sunny side up, but Elvis cannot stand, you know, that little yellow part. If you poke it and it all drains on your plate, that just, that would make Elvis sick, how June described. And of course, Buddy Conrad, who was a cool guy who Elvis loved, he, he knew that. So what any young guy's gonna do? He's gonna order his eggs sunny side up. <laughs> so anyway, Elvis looked at him like a crazy man. Hey, no, 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 uh, don't worry, you know, I'll make sure not to pop the middle. So he uh, ordered the sunny side up, they bring the plate over, and of course, Buddy pops the middle. Elvis, uh, I think, got sick there at the restaurant. But uh, that happened right here in this location, once upon a time in Elvis's life. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, little story. Thanks for watching the spa guy. He is the best Elvis YouTuber on the uh, YouTube. And when I'm not riding around the gray coast with a spa guy, I'm now filming episodes of my own YouTube show called Globe Trotting with Trey. So if you haven't already, go search Globe Trotting with Trey and subscribe. Don't double dribble, subscribe. I have a new episode every Tuesday. 
And I think if you uh, if you love the Spy Guy, you're going to enjoy my videos as well. I think Spy Guy uploads on Mondays, Wednesdays, Thursdays. I'll upload on Tuesdays. So it's a whole week of Elvis stories for you fans to enjoy. Thanks for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. So friends, we're in Biloxi. I can prove it. It says Biloxi right there. Elvis played on the other side of this building right here. It's dark tonight, so I'm not going to show you tonight, but I will show you. We're going to go in McElroy's Harbor House Seafood Restaurant, and we're going to have a little seafood. And we're right here on the water. Look at all the boats. Pretty, pretty, pretty nice. And we're staying at that hotel right there. You can see the top of it. It's called the Beau Revolve. Well, we just got that seafood in us. Now we're gonna come out here and see where it came from. It says no fishing inside the harbor. So where do you fish? Outside the harbor. Okay. And big old coolers, boy. That's yeah, some cool. Those little fish. Where? Oh yeah, look at those minnows. Minnows. Oh, that's a like school of them. Well, it's late for school. <laughs> King Arthur. <laughs> that's King Arthur's boat. These are trawling boats. What was that that just jumped? How old is that boat right there? That's very old. You think that could be the boat? <laughs> this could be the boat that Elvis took out. It's possible. It looked like this boat. It looked like that boat for real. It really did. It really did. Get some pictures of that. Let's look. Let's compare that. Hey, our luck, I'm just telling you, it might be the dang boat. We walked right up on it. Man, it looks a lot like that boat. Right, let's, let's get some pictures out. Let's get out. some pictures of that. All right, stay tuned. So we're on the sound side. That's the back of the seafood restaurant. And you got all these boats and they're all very, very old. So we're gonna come back in the daylight and ask them if anybody knows where that boat's at. It's a long shot, friends, but if it's going to be anywhere, it's going to be in Biloxi. I bet you. I'll tell you a boat I've never found. One I've never looked for. So we saw a boat over here we're going to come investigate. That boat was really wide on the back. I know that. What's up, man? How are you? Okay. Everything's beautiful. Oh, we're right. doing great. These boats out there. Y'all want a million dollar wheel? No, not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> is this the? Do, is this the boat? Which which one was it that we saw the front of? Is it this red one? Okay, look at the back of it. Look at the back of that. That looks, well, if you're looking, you got to look at the, at the cabin part of it too. Yeah. So friends, you see these cannons right here. Elvis played at that house right there. It was called the Biloxi Community House. Community House, yes. And he played here in November of 1955. The cannons are still here. The house was destroyed during Hurricane Camille in 69. 1969. So this gives you an idea about how long these have been here. These suckers are old. When I say old, I'm talking about old. And they came from a wreckage. Of a French galleon. Here in Biloxi, in the Biloxi Bay. I and the, the French called it BB. BB, that's right. Yeah. But the house would have been right, really right in the middle of the road, based off of this photograph right there. And then Elvis played here, like I said. Right here is the Biloxi Community House, Sunday, November the 6th, two big shows, 2 and 8 p.m. This is the first time that Elvis played in Biloxi. And it happened right there. Luckily, the cannons are still here 
to mark where it happened at. If it wasn't for the cannons, we wouldn't know where it was. But they're still here, literally right there. And where we ate the seafood, you can see there's a cross walk there that says Biloxi. There's a McDonald's right there. Hard Rock right there. We ate seafood back there, and you can see the ships right there. So if you come here and you want to see this, this is where you come to see it. So another interesting fact, it said that these cannons were discovered in 1893. So the sunken ship was discovered in 1893. It's a plaque right here. Wow. Talks about it. But yeah, Elvis played right there. So, plaques, friends, are not just for your teeth. So, we're staying at the the Beau Rivage right here. That's Beau Regard for some of you and it's Beau Rivage for the rest of you. And I don't know if you know this, but they, they want you to use, um, what is that shampoo? I can't think of it, but it rhymes with Beau Rivage. Uh, Garnier Visage, I think is what it's called. <laughs> They want you to use Garnier Visage here, friends. Hey, folks. <laughs> Hold on. Garnier. No, it's Garnier Fructis. I mean, here, I, 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 I can't see the mirror. Oh, yeah, get back. Got a big head. We're going. We're there. Oh, okay. Garnier Fructis. Well, I could stay in eternally. Dangerous. Beauregard. Garnier Visage. Hey friends. I don't know what I'm gonna do with Spy Guy. His jokes, they're off the chain. But try being with him for eight hours. Well, Ashley says they're dad jokes, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. There Ashley is that. Ashley said they're dad jokes. And uh, he just had one on me in the restaurant. And uh, the guy said, I um, thought you were my pops. What did he say? He said, Your pops funny. <laughs> <laughs> Guy for you. Yeah. Take a trip with And him. you said, hey, he's got jokes. He has jokes. He has a book back there <laughs> that he reads or something. I don't know where he comes up with it. Yeah, I like plays on words, friends. Things come to me. Duck. So, friends, it is a beautiful morning in Biloxi. Mississippi. We're at the Beau Rivage, as it were. You see the bridge way out there. Now, where Elvis and June stayed at the um, hack house and all that was across the bay on the other side over there. So they were over, over across the bridge on the other side. We're about to head out and film. Trey's ready. He's got his uh, film in his camera. I got me some fresh film in my camera. And we are getting ready to hit it. We're going to go to the McDonald's. There's a McDonald's right around the corner right there. Get some breakfast. And the history is fixing to be on. I can tell you that right now. Believe me now and hear me later. At this hotel, they mix their own beans. So friends, we are in Biloxi, Mississippi, and you see this was dedicated in 2005. They've done a memorial here to the combat wounded. It says the price of freedom. And then it's got folks I would feel like are from this town that would be combat wounded. These guys risked their life, friends, for our freedom. But something that's interesting that's right by this, and we're going to have to figure out 
if this is the original spot is this right here and that vehicle happens to be look they pulled up we've got all look friends we've got this whole parking lot i want you to look this giant parking lot and <clears throat> we're about to film and these people pull up and park right there no reason they just every time i go to film somebody pulls up it's just bizarre to me All right, friends, check this out. The very first place that Elvis played was the Slavonian Lodge here. The second place that he played was the community center right here. You see these cannons? There they are right there. Now, unfortunately, the community center is gone now. <clears throat> and those cannons were not here. During the when this photo was made, the cannons were further over and the road was not out there. The road was right here. The house, if you look, was in the middle of where the road is right here. And you see the trees right there. If you notice these trees right here, that's those trees right there. So the house was somewhere right in there. Basically in the middle of the road or just behind the road, the edge of the road. Another interesting thing is Tupelo Hospital, what am I saying, Biloxi Hospital, was right there around where the Hilton Garden is. So that was where the Biloxi Hospital was. The house was here. And down there where the Beau Rivage is, the tall tan building right there, is about where Barsev's was. Somewhere along in there, just to give you a few landmarks. We're gonna tell stories about, there's gonna be stories about the hospital. Of course, you know he played at the community center. And, and I then, have you a date. He, he played at the community center on November the 6th, 1959, a show at 2 p.m. and a second show at 8 p.m. That can't be right. 1959, he was I'm, in Germany. Excuse me. November the 6th, 1955. Okay, well, there's a, a big difference between 55 and <laughs> 59. So friends, this right here is the Slavic Benevolent Association. Originally on this site was the Slavic Benevolent Association Lodge, a 13,000 square foot structure with a meeting hall accommodating 600 people known as the Slavonian Lodge. The building served as a social center for the large number of ethnic Slavs in the area who were key in developing Biloxi's oyster and shrimp industry. The lodge hosted social activities, including a performance by Elvis Presley on June 25th, 1955. Unfortunately, the lodge was destroyed by Hurricane Katrina in 2005. This was Elvis's first gig in this town, in Biloxi, and it happened right here. This is where the lodge was. You see that bridge over there? He ended up staying at, uh, Ocean, at um, Ocean Springs. Gulf Hills. Gulf Hills at the country club, which was over that bridge, actually over in that area, not far from here. And then downtown Biloxi is that way, where a lot of the other stuff happened. So that just gives you a little idea. This is First and Myrtle Street, right on the corner. So just imagine, right here in this space, back, in, back then, Elvis saying, that's all right, mama, blue moon, all those early songs right here where we're standing. So friends, it looks like we have a failure to communicate. Actually, that's not true at all. We're communicating very well. I just got off the phone with June. And she told us that that house right there is the house that she lived in when she dated Elvis. So if you read June's book, that is the house that she is talking about in the book. You see that front porch? They would go up on that front porch, there was a swing that they would sit on. She told me that the bathroom is this little place right here, this little spot. She told me that there was a, uh, like an apartment in the backyard right there. And that alley back there is where her and Elvis parked. Elvis has been to this house. There's photos of Elvis, Red West, June, all of them in this house on this little street in Biloxi. Now, of course, a lot of things have changed since back then. But the first night she dated Elvis, 
she pulled up in front of the house. Now later, they would go to the back alley and park behind the house, and we'll talk about that in a moment. But that night, they pulled up in front of the house. Now we don't know if they were on that side and he was gonna go that way, or if they were on this side and he was gonna go this way. I would speculate usually it would be this way because he'd be on this side of the street, but we don't know. But imagine she was supposed to be home at 9.30 that night, but it was six o'clock in the morning. They pulled up here at three and waited three more hours in the car together. She gets out, nervous. You know how it is if you've ever done it. Comes up here, Elvis is with her and she says, shh, that's my mama's room right here, be quiet. And then what happened, Trey? So yes, so Elvis goes back and gets in her, his car and as he drives down the road, June waits to watch him uh, ride off and he sticks his head out the window and waves to her and beats the horn twice. And it would be like a goodbye sign that Elvis would always do to beep, 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 beep And if he stuck his head out the window, we would have to think that he was going that way, right? And of course, and okay. June, June stayed here and watched him, of course, drive off thinking about, will I ever see this guy again? That was her thought because Elvis was going to pick Scotty and Bill up from the motel down the road here. And um, they're heading out to Florida for a show that evening. So, so they I'm, slept all night. Imagine Scotty and Bill got their, uh, their rest. Elvis stayed out with this uh, June Juanico of Biloxi, Mississippi, <laughs> out on the beach a few miles, not a mile, about five minutes down the road from here. And, you know, made a new girlfriend. But anyway, think about that. Without the interstate, Elvis, Scotty and Bill hit the road to Florida. That had to be like a twice the amount of time that we can travel it now. Easily, yeah. And Elvis did it and played that night. So anyway, June goes into this house. We assume the window is here that it was a mom's bedroom. Her mom is awake, sitting on her bed. June's busted. We've all been there before, right? So we know this feeling. She said that, I believe in her book, she says she probably, her mom probably could hear her heart pounding out of her chest after being caught sneaking in at 6 a.m. in the morning here at 17 years old too, let's think about that. But anyway, her mom says, do you know what time it is? Yes, ma'am, you know, I'm sorry. Let's go to sleep, June. We'll talk about this in the morning. So June gets into the bed with her mama and she could not sleep because all she could do was relive the night that she just had with the biggest star in the world, Elvis Presley. So anyway, June wakes up at 10 a.m., I believe it says in her book, which I recommend to go to eBay and Amazon and get June's book. And um, she could not wait to tell her mom what happened that night. Her mom listens, smiles at her, says, you know, well, you know, don't get too, you know, caught up in this, June. She goes to work. June could not just get this out of her mind. Would she ever see Elvis Presley again? And of course, as history would have it, she would, and he, uh, she would become his girlfriend here in Biloxi, Mississippi. So what does Spa guy always say? Tighten up. June? She tightened up, right? Yeah, Elvis, Elvis tightened up. Tightened up. June home at 6 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Elvis or tightened down. Tightened down. I, I think it was tightened up, spy guy. But, uh, you know, you know how us guys are sometimes. We, you know, we bring a girlfriend's home at 6 o'clock in the morning, I guess. I don't know, but it was a, they were young and having a good time in life. So in June's book, she talked about parking in this alley, and you see that street light. They would park, I would assume, going in that direction right there. He would park on maybe on the right-hand side, right under that street light right there. And then we feel like they would walk through on the other side of the apartment. Later, June told us she lived upstairs in this apartment uh, right behind the original house. You see, there's an upstairs there when she got married. and But we feel like that they would have been right along in here parking and then when she would go home or he would walk her to the door, they would walk right through here. And I guess they did not go in the back door. I don't think this cover was here at the time. I think that was probably just open. That carport was not there. But they might have gone through that door. You never know. So what we want to do is look at these photographs. These are pictures. Okay, look right here. Uh, you see that this... Oh, so there okay. used to be a wall they, they, they here. Wall. There was a wall, so this was a little living room right here. Now look at this. You can still see this. So that's a corner. It adapts Corners. to every wild move. So I'd assume over there. Hours of campers protection. So but there looks like a there's a door frame or something right there. No, that goes to the floor. Look. So that's beside a door frame in a corner. Lining these things up right here. Well, this has been changed. 
Yeah, this has changed a lot. Yes. That used to be a hallway right here. That was the the refrigerator was you there. See, it looked like the stove or something used to be here because this has a square missing. Here. Uh huh. I bet you that either the stove was there and the fridge was there. This was a hallway through. Mm -hmm. Right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if yeah. the hallway was through, this right here, so the mama's bedroom would have been here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, because you said this. So yeah, and that would have been right where pointed yeah, that good. window up front. Yeah. Yeah, this thing is, wow, this thing's been changed a lot. The layout of it, yeah. So, yeah, there's no way to know where, where that frame is at, where you're seeing that frame. There's no place that there's a corner where there's a door frame. Well, there is. There's a place with a corner with a door frame right there. You see that? And they look. So, if you look at this picture right here, you see the, the corner and you see the edge of a door frame. That is the only place in the house that there's a door frame and a corner. Now, we don't know if this has been changed. Look at the ceiling. And this, at that time, yeah, that, at that time, this would have been two bedrooms, we feel like. And she said that her mother's bedroom, but now her mother's bedroom could have been the living room. You know, so she said that by the door, so we know that at this point, at this story, they came in the front door. Here's some more pictures. See, that looks like some kind of a built-in. Through That's the doorway. The... That's... It's famous dance through the doorway. And there's a light fixture yeah. there. There's a window. Yeah. All this, I know, is good. I mean, I, that looks 50 era. All this... Oh, yeah. yeah, it definitely does. I'm looking at these. Look at the window. Uh, I finally found a lineup in the house, and that is this room right here. You see the window right there, the light fixture up top. There used to be a kitchen table behind Elvis, you see, to the left of the window. You really can't tell about the rest of the room. May have changed some, but there was a kitchen table on the left there behind, beside the window. Definitely where Elvis was, right there in that kitchen. Up at the uh, ceiling. Yeah. And you still have here. Yeah, that trim up there. I mean, we know it took place in here. <laughs> we just don't know where, because it, while it's changed. So I think that it's changed quite a bit. I think it was too, I'll tell you what I think. I think that this was a wall right here. So that came in, this was a living room, okay? Wall here, bedroom here, bedroom there. There was no door there. So it was a bedroom here with the door. There was a bedroom here with the door. So this would have been kind of a living room. I'm sorry, little buddy. Uh, he's, I'm all over him. I don't mean to be. <laughs> I don't mean to be, bud. You okay? You okay? And, um, but that's where it is. You can see the jut out right here. So I believe this was a bedroom and that this was kind of a living room area because it would have been tied to the front door. So if you look, at this wall it would have gone to here so no wall there probably no wall there just one living room bedroom here bedroom there very small home you know oh, yeah. yeah not not large at all uh because in a when you're outside it looks like this house is bigger inside. yeah yeah but basically one bedroom now okay but this is it friends this is is where it all happened at and uh, maybe, I don't think that door was there at the time. So it's hard to say where the door actually was, um, where any of those photos were taken. The only way we could figure it out is to bring June here and let her tell us. Exactly. <laughs> We've been trying to get June to come with us. These cabinets probably were the same cabinets she had in here. I agree. This looks uh, 50s okay. vintage for sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Even the blue countertop. Okay. Isn't that something? 50s vintage for sure. Yeah. Those do look and look, thank you so much You're for welcome. letting us take a look. And that means a lot. And tell your daughter we thank her. And if she's uh, interested in talking to us some more, we would love to do that. Yes. And tell her to watch my channel. Okay. And yeah. we're going to... Elvis stood somewhere in there. Taking Elvis out. stayed in this house, no doubt. Yeah, wherever June's bedroom was with a window. And it could have been right there. You never know. Yeah. I mean... That kind of yeah, this looks like this would have, but this would have been her mother's room, remember? Right. 
because she said by the door. So this would have been mom's room here. So that would have been June's room back there. Right there. Yep. Mm -hmm. There you go. Thank you so much. You're welcome, y'all. Yes, ma'am.